holding the guy by his throat. I'm not actually choking, but I'm holding you. Okay. For police. He can still breathe. I'm not choking. I'm only going to choke if you resist, right? That's fair. Just doing that, and other people see that, not only is that still uh, using force that could be considered fatal force, right? Fatal use force. Someone can still shoot me or stab me legally because I have my arm around your throat, which includes police so officers. Right so police officers come to the scene, okay. they can actually shoot me for putting my arm around your throat. Well, you like do that. look like the aggressor. But what if I'm a big dummy and you got me in a choke and I continue to fight you? You're going to have to apply some kind of resistance, aren't you? Well, this is where it's important for you to understand Very good. law and your situation. Okay. So you have to put all that together. Where am I? What's the situation? Uh, these things determine what you're going to do because you understand the legal consequences for action and inaction. So you understand that if I choke this person out unconscious, right, I can increase my survivability physically, right, right in this situation. Right. But I also, if this is a public environment, a public space, this could also be uh, considered me using force that was, that was excessive.